Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Weston, and today we'll be playing The Stanley Parable, which is a childhood game that I loved watching people play on YouTube growing up. And now, I get a chance to play it. This time though, it's the expanded edition, or the deluxe edition they call it. But let's stop talking, let's get right into it. Let's get into this first game. So, uh, by the way, what's happened so far is I entered into the game and it asked me to put in the time. Then took the game down, then I uploaded it again, and then I put in the time a second time. And then afterwards it congratulated me for putting in the time a second time. So then I uh, took it down one more time and um, it told me, you know what, put the time that you'd love the most. So I'm going to put in my favorite time of the day, which is 11-11. You know, that's the time you always make a wish. So I had to choose it. I had to. Ah, uh, 11, 11 a.m., your favorite time of day. <laughs> See, you knew it. That's so funny. Or, could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? No, it's my favorite day. After all, I know how much you enjoy uh, setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 11, 11 is. Let's use another slider to find out. Okay, how accurate is 11, 11 a.m.? I'm going to put, like, all the way in here accurate. Yeah, I'll put all the way in your accurate because that's not right at all. It's like 7 o'clock at night right now. So, you know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm just having a great time adjusting these settings. <laughs> I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Oh, man. Hmm, perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip a couple new ones up. Should be ready next time you boot up the game. Okay, so next time I boot up the game, I'll have to show y'all what's up. That's funny. It's cool how he even has a story just booting up the game. So, okay, here we go. Uh, well, let's begin this game. The end is never, the end is never, the end is loading. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company oh, in a big man. building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Here we go. So, from what I remember from playing this, or watching this game when I was a little kid, um, you can either listen to the narrator or not, so... Um, yeah, well, there we go. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Dang. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't <laughs> find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, okay. So you can interact with the computers. I remember there's something you could do out here. Let's see. 
I think I remember this game pretty well, actually. I remember watching a little preview earlier, but um, of the old edition, not not this one. So I've never seen this. All the new content that's in this game I've not seen yet, but I'm excited to go on the journey of seeing what's up. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um... I'm not going to listen to him the first time. I'm going to go this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, <laughs> and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Can I go Perhaps back? he wanted to stop by the employee Let's lounge first, no. just to admire it. I guess I never clicked. I never even tried, but whatever. Ah, yes. Here's truly a lounge. room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Just realized that my uh, uh, face camera never wasn't on this entire time, so um, here we go. We'll keep going. Though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. <laughs> He's just been commenting on how I've been sitting here for too long. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Again, I'm not going to listen to him. So, here we go. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. I'm jumping someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Now remember, I'm not listening to him at all, so I'm going through the blue door. Aha! <laughs> Perhaps you oh. misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. What's this door? Can I go in this? There's a key card? I bet we could do something with this. Huh. I, I don't know if I've ever seen that before in the old one, so... I think that's new. I'm gonna go through the blue door. Again. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley <laughs> walked through the red door. Um. Hey, hey, hey. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've I chosen? Do. Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer it's textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable <laughs> desires of yours. What would have Give made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. I think I remember this ending. It's like a, okay, a I'm going to stop something. you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game that. benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I'm going with a number five, Cinco. Aha! 
You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? Well, looks like where How we did were. I okay. know the game needed a third door? Well, we it's saying. instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. Look at this. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Okay. This is still open, so I'm going through here. Now, would you oh, say that side. competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Um. Hmm. I'll give it. I'll give it a solid four. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left yep, towards this danger. Is what I saw. <laughs> you click the button to move him back to the right, and if he Over reaches here. the fire, you fail. Oh, it's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Yeah. Be sure to keep notes on your no. experience. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to put anyone else through that, so... Sorry. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Uh, because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm completely out of I ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Yo. Aha! Fascinating. Wait a minute. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you See, from up high in your crate tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Two fire... Watch is the Firewatch. Yeah, this is Firewatch, 100%. Yo, what the heck, this is so cool. Yep, okay, here we go. Can you do that or something? Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, went the wrong way. All the way back. Back it up, back it up, just back it up, back it up. Anybody know that reference? Let me know. Oh, what the? I like glitched through right here. Thought I did at least. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the wood. Oh no. No, 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 it can't be. I watched Markiplier play this game way back in the day. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. What? Oh, thank goodness, Stanley, no. what a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing, that big open 
just wandering okay. around, no right or wrong Place directions, right no path to follow. You can just go in any... I'm going right here. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods Hopefully now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Oh, Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Wonderful. What the heck? See, this is exactly this what is I had in mind. <laughs> just a nice big box for you to run around I've never played in. This there game. isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Huh. I wish I was a car and I was playing it right now. Okay, so Let's what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. <laughs> we shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes. I the think bases. surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Oh, yes. I'm, uh... No, I'll be Team Blue. Oh, I'm way faster now. Here we go. I'm Team Blue, so we're gonna get right in the orange. Wish I could jump. Super speedy. There we go. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Yes, I am. Is it better than my miserable little story that I work so hard on? <laughs> Stanley, right I is. have a it's thought. Really fun. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yes! Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. <laughs> more balls! Go. Okay, we'll just uh, knock them all in the orange. Boom. Oh, I can't even hit his point. There we go. Boom. Boom. I wish I could jump. Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope yeah. you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. That's right. Oh, Your man. little fun comes to an end. This is my game, oh, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So goodbye, Stanley. No. I'm leaving. See how you'd like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. Can you give me a ball? I just, <laughs> you can go. I just, I just want a ball. I love them balls. <laughs> Not, <laughs> uh, you know what I meant. <laughs> Um, well, la di da di da you gonna come back or no? It's over here. Can I go up there? Nope. Not. Well, I wonder if I jump in one of these goals. I'm gonna jump in one of these goals. Come on, come on, let's get some speed going. Hold on, what are you <laughs> doing? <laughs> oh man. Stanley, don't do that, I can't follow you there, I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it, you know that. Stanley, come back. Oh. 
sorry, man. I uh, I left you. So he was just waiting there the entire time. He didn't even leave. Oh frick! Where am I? I gotta turn the brightness up on this. Can't open any of these doors. Huh. Anything in here? Nope. This is open. This looks a lot like that one room where we went in the back. This would be like the red. Oh wait. No, this is the OG room. Oh, we're going back to our office, huh? Let's see. Oh, some lights on over here. Oh, you can't go in. That's just a window, I guess. Can't really see, it's so dark. Hopefully y'all can see this. Dang, my room got all height teched up, huh? Anything I'm supposed to do here? I'm tapping on everything I see. Nothing's turning off or on. There's cameras. Hopefully there ain't no Five Nights at Freddy's type stuff. I would freak out if there was. I get scared so easy. It's not even funny. I would... Did the game just crash? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted oh. was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. He's a poetic man. Was that the end of that? Okay, so it restarted. I can tap on my own computer. No. Nope. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. Okay. What I could it mean? This. Stanley decided to go. Oh, please. Yes, Are you really just Click doing this for the achievement? for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's okay. the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not uh, feeling 20. the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 I'm clicking clicks. as hard as I can. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some so hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. All right, Why all right. don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Where are you? This is weird, because I like remember a lot of this, actually, from, when I, from the past, but I don't remember everything. OK. How many clicks? I'm just click many times. Ooh, great! Now go click a few times on door four three seven. Four three seven. Threes are this way. No, 
freeze it this way. Four, three, seven, right here. Excellent! I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Are over here. here we go, here we go. Oh, here it is. Now, back to door number 437. Oh, here we go, here we go, baby. Here we go. There it is. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? Right here. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think <laughs> we're getting somewhere. Here we go. We got this. We got this. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419. This one. There we go. I'm yes! Right. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. I remember there's something about input right here. Okay. Uh, I, I remember uh, 6 at the end. It wasn't this one. Uh, 416, maybe. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! <laughs> I got you. Don't you worry. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! The OG's cheating. Yes! We <laughs> did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. There oh, it is. you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an I'm achievement well. was worth five Thank little you. clicks. Really, now, what were you thinking? Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to make this like a multi-part series, so there's going to be multiple videos uh, just to make it so you have like a break in between times you can watch this. But thank you all for watching. And if you liked, please consider leaving a like down below. If you continue to want to see more of my content, uh, please subscribe and put that bell notification on so you can be notified of the next videos that I make. So again, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.